If you are going to connect this overload relay with the contactor, then before connection, you have to check the overload relay whether it is working proper or not. Without doing the connections, if you want to check overload relay, then you have to use multimeter. So how we are going to check overload relay through multimeter? Along with this, the basic details of overload relay which you don't know. These all things will be explained to you through this video. So friends, let's start the video. Friends, whenever I want to work on overload relay, I always notice that in the overload relay I have, what is the current rating of this relay? Means what is the range of this relay? You can see that in this overload relay, a dial is present here. You can see something is written on dial. Let's have a look. You can see here 17 is written and here 25. This means in this overload relay I have the current rating of this relay is 17 to 25 ampere. To set the current rating a dial is present here and you can see an arrow in front of dial. Whatever digit is in front of arrow that will be the current rating at that time. Like you can see here 17 is written. This means right now 17 ampere current is set. I am rotating this to set the current rating as 21 ampere. Now in this overload relay you will find total 6 power terminals. 3 power terminals are here and here you will find other 3 power terminals. Apart from this one NO contact and one NC contact is given here. Now one thing you need to understand that whenever we connect this overload relay with contactor and in that condition if overload relay got tripped then in this overload relay only NO and NC contact are changed. The power contact here will not going to change. When your contactor is on, you will get power supply at these points. If contactor is off, then no power supply will be received here. But in overload relay, if you are getting power supply here, then at output also you will get power supply. This overload relay in trip condition only changes the NONC contact. Apart from these, you can see here a stop push button is provided. At this side, a test button and here you can see auto is written and here M means auto manual switch is given here. How this auto manual switch works I will explain you during the testing. Now if you want to check this overload relay then what you have to do is place your multimeter to continuity position. After this I am selecting the continuity. After placing the multimeter to continuity position check your multimeter beep sound is coming. Now what you have to do at these power terminals these terminals have to be checked. Connect one probe of multimeter with a terminal and the output terminal of same terminal connect another probe. You must get continuity here. We are getting continuity here. Let's check second terminal. Continuity is there. At the third terminal also we are getting the continuity. This means these power terminals are ok. Now you have to check for NONC contact. As you know that in the NO contact we must not get any continuity. You can see we are not getting any continuity. NO contact is used for trip indication. Now when I connect probes on NC contact, we are getting the continuity. You can see that continuity is there. Now at NC contact, by connecting probes, you have to check for 2 to 3 things. So I am connecting probes here. If I press the stop push button here, then you will observe beep sound stops. You can see no beep sound is coming. On releasing this, again beep sound is coming. This means after pressing stop push button, the NC contact here must break. Through this button, you can turn off the contactor. Apart from this, with the NC contact here, connect the probe of multimeter and you have to press the test button here. I have to slide this button to this side. I slide it this side and you can see beep sound is gone. This overload relay has now gone to trip indication. You can see no continuity is shown by multimeter. For now, you can see even on releasing this test button, NC contact is still showing open. If you want to reset this overload relay, then you have to press reset button. The NC contact of overload relay also get reset. Ok, I was telling you that at this reset switch, below here, auto manual is written. So what is the use of this? If I only press this, then manual reset is done. But if you rotate this switch to this side with the help of screwdriver, I rotate it to this side, means I selected auto position. Then in this condition, if overload relay trips, then relay will reset automatically. This means there is no need to press this again. 
the moment at which high current flows through this relay it will get tripped and when flow of current comes to normal means the current starts flowing below current rating set then it will reset automatically so whenever you are going to do the connections of overload relay then keep in mind that whether you want to reset overload relay manually or reset automatically in most of the conditions we keep this relay in manual reset mode so that by pressing button we can reset here you can look at one more thing that you can move these power terminals also in this way this means for proper connection sometimes movement of these terminals is required so that it can match with the power terminals of contactor friends i hope you like this video if you like this video give like on my video if you are new to the channel please subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video